Cindy's Place. And have you ever thought about making your own teas? Or maybe you do. Um, my little helper here, my grandson, um, Ethan. Hi. Is going to help me make chai tea today. And this is a blend that I've been using. I really, really like this blend. Uh, so we're going to show you how we make our chai tea. So stay with us and uh, we'll get you situated and I'll show you what we do. Okay, the first thing we're going to do to make the chai tea is we're going to get a half of a cup of cinnamon. And you just pour it in the in here. Hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. Okay, we're going to put that in the bowl. And then we need a fourth of a cup of cardamom. I love cardamom. It's one of my favorite seasonings. And I have an extra, oops. Now I have another empty jar to save seeds or whatever in. I always keep these. These are very handy. I'm having to open a new one like that. And there's a fourth of a cup of cardamom. And then we need two tablespoons of cloves, crushed cloves. Oh, and you make a mess. That's okay. I'm a messy cook. I'm a messy everything. I'm terrible. And a tablespoon of star anise. What was that? Star anise. And I'll have the recipe for this in the description if anybody wants to do it for themselves. It's really tasty. And then we need a tablespoon. Did I say two tablespoons of star anise? I did, didn't I? Yes. Okay. And it's supposed to be two tablespoons of cloves also. So I need to do another one of those. Probably have it. I probably spilled a tablespoonful. Okay, two tablespoons of each of those. One tablespoon of ginger. Oops, that one doesn't go there, this one does. And one tablespoon of ground ginger. Without being too messy. Okay. And one tablespoon of black pepper. tablespoon of black pepper this year. Okay. 
Okay, now that we've got it all mixed. Okay, now what we're going to do next is my helper, Ethan, is going to take a bag. Yes. And we've put everything together. I've mixed it up really well. And now we have to put it into the bag. And over here is a jar of black tea that we're going to put a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of this into our little bags. Um, personally, I don't like the little bags. I would rather have a larger bag, but when I ordered last time, this is what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and use them. They do work, but I like the larger bag. So what I'm going to do is fill this with the chai mix and I'm going to put a spoonful of black tea and then you just pull the strings and tie the bag very tightly and I usually tie it like three or four times And there you go, there's a tea bag. And I just keep them in this jar here. And um, I marked it chai, so I can use those for chai tea bags. So we're gonna let Ethan, my little helper here, not too much. Like this much? Yeah, and stick it way down in there. There you go. And put the bag down in the chai mix. Like that? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Okay. He's learning how to do, make tea. Okay, now use this one and get a teaspoon of the black tea. Okay. And maybe another one. Okay, whoops, spilled a little bit, but that's okay, that happens. That happens when you're cooking, too. Yeah, it happens when I cook, too, and do things. Okay, tie it up. Okay. So... You remember how to do it? Or you want me to do it? I know how to tie. Okay. Are you sure? No. I think. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out with the tying. Okay. Do not pet the dog and play with food. Okay, and then you tie it tight, and you do it like for three times, just to make sure it stays nice and tight. And there you go. Ethan made a tea bag of chai tea. And we put it in our... And that's the way we do it. We just keep going until all of the tea bags are filled, or until the jar gets full. And this is the chai mix. We just mix it together like I showed you. And with our black tea, and there you have it, you have chai tea, and it's really good. Okay, now that we have made our mess, <laughs> and, yeah. and made our, yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. And we made our tea bags, we're going to sample our tea. So do you want to tell everybody how you do it? So you add one tablespoon of sugar, and you add a little bit of milk. Okay. I didn't give you quite a tablespoon, it's a small cup. Okay. And how much milk would you like, sir? Um, just maybe, a little? Yeah, just a little. How about that? Good. Okay. And I'll do the same one. We're going to do a taste test for you. And I didn't let this steep as long as I probably should have because you've got to let it steep for at least 10 minutes when you make it to have a nice strong chai tea taste. And I'm spilling. Today is not a good day for me. I'm spilling everything. Yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> spilling weather. Uh, it's spilling weather, yeah. Okay, you want to try it? It might be kind of warm, so be careful. All right, let's give it a little tiny sip. Ooh, what do you think? I think that's good. You like it? Yeah. It's kind of a 
Spicy taste, huh? Yeah. It's really good though, but this this is my favorite chai tea recipe. I love this recipe. Mmm. I think it's delicious. Evidently he does too. <laughs> so what we will do is uh, we will go on and we will drink our tea. And thank you very much for joining us. And I will have, like I said, I will have the recipe in the description. So I appreciate it. And you all have a good day. Thank you very much. Think you can stop sipping to say goodbye? Yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.